everyone, welcome to Outdoors to the Squatch. We're gonna do some modification of this grapple today, so let's not waste any time, let's jump in and I'll explain as we go. So this is the factory location for, at least for the everything attachments, uh, Wicked Root, uh, 66 inch Wicked Root grapple. This is where they, they come out and it's fine. Um, it works fine with my front end loader, no issue there. Um, for what I wanna use it for though, it's in the way. I need it to be inset into the C channel here, in, in other words, flush. You know, it's got to be flush. I uh, can't be protruding from that right in this area at all. Up here, yes. Here, no. So we've got to address that. Uh, the, the simplest solution I've come up with is we're just going to get the grinder and we're just going to cut, 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 cut. And we're going to hopefully bend that metal up, creating a tab right here. And then that will allow us to lay these lines in flush. Give us a little protection. I'm not too concerned about that, really, to be truthful with you. <laughs> Well, that, that took no time. So we're just gonna try to bend these tabs upward here and uh, huh, give that a shot real quick. I don't know, I think some channel locks to get it going and maybe a hammer to finish it off. Metal doesn't look all that tough. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, eh, that will stang to her, but it ain't all that bad. I might just get it all with this. Not quite. Pretty close. That yeah, ain't too bad. Uh, looks good to me. So this is what we are after right here. Um, and it seemingly uh, is going to, I think it'll work. So <laughs> I guess we're going to find out here momentarily, huh? So the next thing that I know I need to do is to knock this edge down right here. From this point about here down to about here. Just shave it off. Um, you'll see why here in a minute, but uh, both sides, we need to do that. So we're going to handle that. Well, I thought I could get away with just knocking this edge down here, but I don't think it is. I think it's, uh, we're going to have to take a strip of metal out of here, I think, on both sides. 
I'm uh, not looking forward to that. Uh, just a thin little slice. We'll see how it goes. So we took three eighths of an inch out of it, um, eight inches of a length. Uh, that should be plenty, I would like to think anyway. Um, this is AR450 uh, plate, three eighths inch plate. That stuff is hard, holy smokes. I uh, gotta take your time with it or you're gonna go through a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of cutting wheels, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock the other side out and then we'll move on to the next phase of the old project here. We're getting close. So I got the other side done. We're just going to clean all these birds off from here real quick. And this is done. Spray a little bit of paint on it and call it good. We'll hit it with a little bit of paint here might as well all right do it do it all we can so we got to get the fittings hooked up and after we get the fittings hooked up i got to just get this thing positioned and then we can uh hopefully <laughs> and i say hopefully get it hooked up So just mocking this up real quick, but all I did essentially is I had uh, two new lines made, uh, four inches longer than the originals, and that'll allow us to get over to here and to here, right, from center. So hopefully that works out. So let's get these lines hooked up. Well, I guess this is sort of the moment of truth. We'll uh, get these routed. See if we can route them anyway, right? I don't see a problem. I think, I think hopefully it'll all work. That's what we were looking for, right there. So I'm thinking we're four lines and a few zip ties away here um, from checking this out. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. These lines are a little more of a pain than the other ones, but 
They shouldn't be too horrible, I suppose. I'm happy enough with the way the lines uh, have turned out here. I think, uh, yeah, throw some zip ties on there and we'll get this puppy hooked up. You know, three times today during this little project I got pulled away. <laughs> and uh, I'm running out of daylight, so it's looking like the conclusion of this little project probably isn't going to take place until morning. <laughs> oh, well, such is life. But hey, you know, it's all fun stuff tomorrow. So I got something to look forward to, you know. I ain't belly ache too much. I think that looks up uh, pretty good. It's it's in there a little loose, not loose enough to come off, but I wanna I'm I'm pretty certain I have to have it clearance to about where the zip ties at. That's about it. So I think that's about so I think that's good, but I wanna leave that a little loose so it can. I don't want it pinned in tight here, right? So hopefully it'll it'll ride up more like that. But regardless, we're gonna come back in the morning and <laughs> hopefully we'll get to at least get this thing mounted to the tractor tomorrow um i don't have a full day available just the morning so we'll see how far we can get i think you've all seen and you, well you just did I typically leave this thing clamshelled opened up face down. It's it's what you have to do with these short bottom grapples. Uh, they will not stand on their own. The long bottoms will. These will not. So you, that's just how you orientate them, right? Like Spartan Hunter actually asked me at, um, a while back um, whether or not the short bottom would stand up. They don't. Not been an issue. It's going to be one, though. <laughs> I may have found a solution temporarily. Um, ultimately, what a lot of guys do is build a stand for them, and that's, that's good. I haven't really seen a need for it, to be honest with you, because I've never had an issue hooking it up uh, before, but uh, now it would be an issue, and you're going to see why. Well, this definitely uh, qualifies for you don't know that you'll try kind of a, uh, a moment here. Appears to be pretty solid right there, folks. I think we're good. Um, worst case, it tips over. I hook a chain to it and stand it up, right? But I think we got what we need right there. Well, here it is this is a combo i've been wanting for a while of course you guys have seen uh the dan user tree puller get used a ton if you've watched any of my land clearing videos um awesome implement love that thing um you've also seen me use the uh 
the wicked rooker apple <laughs> that's now on the back of my tractor so i got kind of a one two combo punch here now um i think it's going to work really well um when i'm out there clearing the woods so we'll see we're going to put it the test but uh you know i've had this attachment for a little while i finally just got around to modifying it um and modifying the grapple to make it work let's look at the meat and potatoes of what we had to do to actually make this work so you remember the first modification was cutting this c-channel bending that tab up uh, so we get this clearance here it, it needed to be flush this fitting would not fit this is where it came out before obviously that wasn't going to work so we address that issue so you saw where we took the slice of metal out of here not going to hurt that grapple at all that's just three-eighths of an inch come on so but we did that so we could clear these handles right and they're still pretty tight and but that's what we did to the grapple c channel for the hydraulic lines in this so not not a big deal right um one other flaw with the work saver though i will say um first off the build quality this thing's great uh finish design everything's great the only caveat to that being these handles and i also put four large washers in here to bring this out a little bit when i initially got this i tried it with my tree puller first couldn't use it couldn't use it in my bucket certainly couldn't use it with the grapple for the reasons uh, mentioned i wanted to use it with my tree puller see if i could get that figured out didn't need much for that so i space this out and then it worked with my loader bucket which again it works for good carry all but nothing else right and but the tree puller will go back here too as well and with the quick hitch ha. so but I did that as well. I'm, I'm left to think that this is being a Cat 1 or Cat 2. More than likely, um, if you have a compact tractor or a subcompact, uh, the, the metal's probably not quite as much in those implements. Um, and this would probably be fine. I could have taken these handles off and brought them into a, a shop and had with a brake press and had them just bend them a bit. Um, that probably... Hindsight being what it is. you but i think it's a nice addition to the arsenal if you will right um <laughs> having this the ability to run the tree puller the grapple the tooth bar um whatever it may be in sync with one another i think is great uh you know i normally run my ballast box back here which is over 1200 pounds this is like 660 i believe somewhere in there so I, i'm losing a little bit of ballast but but all told it's not gonna affect me too bad i don't think manageable right um, I have the luxury of a hydraulic top link. Um, I don't think you need one. I really don't. If you only have a single rear remote, um, I wouldn't hesitate to do this. Say you got the tooth bar up there and you want to use this combo, you could do it. Or if you just even had a, a third function kit uh, for your front end loader, you could always run lines back to it and operate it with your third function kit. So, But I'm looking forward to playing with it, man. I do wish I had time to do it today, but we'll get to it very soon, I promise. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> hope you'll come around for the next one. And until then, you stay happy out there. <laughs>